Okay, I'm ready to go back and ask these people. Okay, what's happening? Why are you not doing this with me? Are you kidding me? Like, we can be millionaires in two years, dude. Like, seriously, stop it. Let's do this shit. Is it Mavian? You want to go? What's happening? Good morning. It's night in hey London guys, for me. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Good evening, I know. Oh, yeah. Here is like 12.43 and I am in the middle of like having a swelling eye that I just wake up oh. with. And I need to go to the emergency room because I don't know what the heck is happening. Oh and doing God. live videos at the same time. It's crazy. <laughs> but I'm here. I'm showing up and I don't know. I guess the rest of the day I'll be on my phone <laughs> in the hospital. <laughs> Who knows? But anyways, uh, well, my name is Mavian. I am from Washington, D.C. I'm originally from Cuba. I'm a surgical lead assistant. I quit my job in September and I become a network marketing um, company that is like I'm obsessed with. And I took a big leap in my life. So I'm super, super like into personal development. It literally has changed my life. Um, I came into Grand Cardone like literally by accident, you guys, and I feel so stupid saying this because I cannot believe with all the personal development I'm doing, with all of the stuff that I'm reading, I'm, I'm have a, a purpose and a mission to read a book a day. It's not even funny that I haven't know. I, I mean, it's crazy. I cannot even. I'm blowing away. Um, like I think uh, I think somebody mentioned that. You know, all of the million are saying the same thing, just with the different ways or vision or point of view. And I really love what he said because I being I have some mentors and they all saying the same thing. And one of the things that I took away from this today is that ask them why they're not joining you. Be straightforward. Mm -hmm. And I love it because I actually try it and then I step back. Because I was like, I'm Cuban and I normally sound like really crazy rough <laughs> person. And I was like, shit, I'm going to scare these people away. But, you know, hearing it from him, man, I'm going to go back to be rough and straightforward and all of it. Because I think I, I miss a lot of sales on the way. And that's really like, it stuck up in my head. And I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go back and ask these people. Okay. What's happening? Why are you not doing this with me? Are you kidding me? Like, we can be millionaires in two years, dude. Like, seriously, stop it. Let's do this shit. So, anyway. So, that's, that's pretty much what I have right now. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, who wants, um, who's, who's going next? Yeah, I are you sure? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, myself Ayush, I am from India. Now right now uh, I am a working professional in corporate job. So I am from IT field. So uh, I am also a hustler. I also doing side by side like YouTube blogging and then client stuff. I am also doing. So uh, like Grand Cardone is saying, you have to agree with the customer. So I have a different <laughs> problem. <laughs> so most of the stuff that I do online, but uh, when the customer says the price is very high. So if you do a mail or some stuff and uh, if you say like that, okay, I agree with you. Uh, it's it's in a very different context. It's very difficult to uh, tell them that the price is not high, and they ha we have to convince them. So if we are in front, like we are uh, chatting in in a video call, that's very easy. But how we can do in email and all the stuff and uh, to bound that client, it's very difficult. So I need a yeah. suggestion from you, everyone. I think. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Uh, consider myself like uh, in pandemic situation. I also started my e-commerce uh, e-commerce store one year before. So, uh, everything is going fine, but because of the pandemic, supply chain broke, and uh, I <laughs> I felt a very heavy loss. <laughs> so I have to close it down. So right now, what, what uh, I'm doing uh, my corporate job, work from home is going on. Plus, I'm working on my YouTube channel, uh, generating a couple of bucks uh, from there. Plus, I also investing in stock markets, so I'm also generating money from there. And uh, what, what I can say, I have some knowledge of IT field, so I'm providing consultancy. For that, I'm uh, charging per, per hour basis or per half an hour, like two hundred dollars or three hundred bucks. So uh, that's uh, a short. <laughs> that's from my side. <laughs> Do you feel like you've um, like besides like the besides the challenge of of agreeing when the price is too high? Are there any other uh, like when you went through the list of things in the sales process like that you feel you've not you know mistakes or or areas of improvement? 
yeah i i have seen that uh, like uh, after the pandemic situation people want more and they don't want, they don't want to pay a lot of amount a lot of price so uh, grand also tells that we have to over deliver right so what i'm thinking right yeah. now how like if we are providing something 10 or 12 stuff or 10 or 12 courses or products in us in a, what i can say in a block so how we can provide 20 or means i just uh, means including a number like 20 or 30 we will provide more yeah. so that they can able to get more value even though uh, we have to over deliver it but we when we get a client and when we uh, get in our list and when we get their trust after that we can able to get more price from them so i am looking up for that thing also <laughs> yeah that's that's good yeah yes uh, technically i have the yeah yeah second, second longest longest and <laughs> shortest at the same time <laughs> <laughs> um Uh, hi, my name is Stacey Kipchenny. Um, I'm in the DC area. Um, my day, my day-to-day nine-to-five job is is working for the government. But uh, I have a side hustle that I started about a year ago. Um, I sell fitness apparel, and um, it's I'm technically an independent uh, reseller, so I have certain rights to like trademarking and things that I can do. But I don't have a lot of flexibility. you know with other areas that I want to pursue so it, it um in the next 6 to 8 months I'm going to be transitioning to creating my own brand but um so I'm really trying to you know uh take advantage of everything this weekend uh, because this is also really new to me um I've never you know it was it was definitely something getting out of my comfort zone where um especially prior to the pandemic you know we couldn't have our own we could have our own online presence but we can have our own uh website for our personal inventory and so everything was just you know you were going to gym events you were doing pop-ups at gyms and so you were doing a lot of these in person events and then once the pandemic hit it was like transitioning to everything online and so trying to figure out you know a it was a struggle for me because i i would never did sales i never you know i'd never done anything like this before and so i was learning as i was going and the company gives you you know some tools and everything to work with but it's nothing like this right and um and so um that was my primary goal is like all right let's learn learn the process learn how to get better at conversions um and then you know and now was switching to more of an online presence because of the pandemic you know yesterday was really valuable so you know trying to build up that marketing online and and social media um but you know i just see that even in the the little bit of time that i've worked with you know like i am definitely um I definitely have to work on the the always uh, agreeing with the customer even if they're right or wrong. You know, at least more so with the poker face, you know, because like, yeah. sometimes I'm just like, dude, seriously, like, you know, you're wearing Lulu, you're wearing Lulu lemon leggings and you're going to complain that mine are pricey? Like, come on, <laughs> you know. So, uh there's it, I I have a hard time um hiding, you know, my like my like come on, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but um so yeah so i'm just really trying to you know uh soak all of this in and and uh make good connections because also like i you know like i learned yesterday um which i i also knew before is is you know i'm a dreamer i've always had the entrepreneur of spirit um but i have a lot of people that are naysayers or don't believe in me or saying like oh you can't like why would you do this you know why would you waste money on this why why are you wasting energy on this and so to have to to um to discover more people and to make connections with people that are on the same wavelength um that i can use as a resource and inspiration um that's that's what I'm work, you know, working on right now. So, how long have you been doing the apparel thing? Um, I started just about a year ago. So I signed up, yeah, the end of uh, mid-October last year. And so I had and I was really bummed because I had uh April and May, I just had a slew of major events. Um, yeah. you know, national CrossFit events that I was going to be at that I was a, a podium prize um uh donor um would have had a lot of recognition and like every single weekend and then yeah. the pandemic hit and now it's you know I'm struggling to get events even even as they're opening we don't have you know um it's you know minimal 
you know, minimal attendees for the event and they're also not allowing spectators in most of them. And so it just really cuts back and then it, it becomes like, okay, what's worth it? You know, should I even, you know, yes, I want to go and, and be a presence at the events, but is my time better spent marketing online as opposed to, you know, the physical, the time, the energy, the fact that I'm physically setting up like a full pop-up shop and then breaking it down and, you know, how much of that is worth it at the end, you know, for 50 attendees or for, you know, Absolutely. so it's, it's trying to figure out, um, you know, what, what the best um, uh, avenue to attack right now is, I think, being a one person show. Yeah. So. Uh, do you have any idea how much, could you quantify how much money you think, like how long have you been in roofing? For five years. Yeah. So do you think like, how much, how much do you really have a, I, I, it's hard for me to grasp for myself. So like, right. what, do you, what do you, the dollars? Well, as far as the dollar amount goes, I mean, like your average roof is around here where I'm at. Your average roof is going to be anywhere from 15 to 20,000. So, um, which of course I get commission off of that. Um, and really, I mean, my, uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm making a million dollars in sales a year, but my goal is to shoot that up to 3 million. It really needs to be at 10 million as far as the program goes, you know what I mean? But, um, for right now, the small goal is going to be uh, 3 million, I'm getting up to 3 million in sales, which I've been putting things into play as far as um, getting us to the point to where we can, um, you know, do, start doing a lot more commercial stuff and doing these big, you know, flat roofs and stuff like that, which some of these jobs are million dollar jobs. So, if, so if I could get my point myself to the point to where I'm, you know, selling, you know, just five or six, you know, hundreds, several hundred thousand dollar jobs or million dollar jobs, and I could be to the point to where I'm making that three million, then that makes the the ten easier. You want to? Yeah, I'll be I'll be quick, guys. I'm I'm from uh, London. I run a video marketing company, and um, we've been going for ten years. I've been listening to Grant Cardone's content for about eight of those ten years, um, so I am quite familiar with this sales process. But the one thing that I really took from it that we definitely don't do enough is use a third party to sort of take close those sales that haven't got over the line. And I've got a business partner, and I think to myself. Why haven't we done this with each other? This is just ridiculous. So if Grant's saying it's going to add an extra 15% to our bottom line, you know, we're doing about a quarter of a million turnover. So that's going to be nearly 40,000 pounds more just by him picking up the phone saying, look, I know you didn't move forward with us. What was the reason why? Is there anything we can do? So, and that's such a simple phone call. If I take his leads and he takes my leads, yeah. and that's going to be the one of the things that we implement straight away. Is it just the two of you? Uh, two of us that run the company, and we've got yeah. six staff members. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well, that's, that's good, though. That's a, like that's the kind of recognition, right? That's like that's immediately, you know, that's a that's a I'm sure. change now thing. I'm, and like, yeah, it's huge. That's it's good. Just, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to so, it, bro. Yeah, we, it, I mean, it, I'm going to do it. We're going to stick to it. It's such an yeah. easy thing. And if yeah. it can add an additional 15%, we're talking about a good chunk of change. So, yeah, yeah that's that's me, guys. That's uh, I'm, I'm buzzing with that one nugget. Okay, good. That's awesome.